Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. We're kicking into 2024, folks. Holy cow. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. If they tell you the truth, right? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 102, NASDAQ's up 12, S&P's are up 2.5. Gold, gold contract trading down $14.50 at $2,078 an ounce. We have silver down 38 cents, $24.25 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $2.10, $72 one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 13 ticks, trading $112.29. The 30 year of, of 23 ticks at $125.05 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 240 ticks, trading $101.226. Euro 110, yen trading 141 British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, slowly but surely, that S&P is trying to get to its highs. I, my take is that, you know, we're going we're gonna to get this high. You don't get this close to a high without whacking it. So we take a look at this, baby. What you're going to see here, come on, let's go. So right now, you got it up 60 cents. 57 cents, you know, you have volume contracted, no doubt about that. I mean, that's going to be all week. And you're still under the highs, you know. We're just barely under the high. So we'll see one that wants to whack it. I mean, it's, it's, uh, four, we got the 477.55 today, and it's 479. Actually, let's bring up the cash, because what does happen is the S&P pays a dividend, which makes a difference. So if we bring up the cash, right now we hit 47.8, no, 47.93, and that number is 48.18. So uh, yeah, so let's, let's uh, that's 27 points, man. Yeah, yeah, it's 27 points. That's, that's quite a while. But when you bring up the cash, man, it still looks like hey, it's gonna go after it. We take a look at the the Qs. The Qs just continue to keep going higher, man. So we take a look at the Qs. The Qs are up 17 cents right now, and they're breaking away from their highs. And they, it hasn't broke away yet, but the, the bottom line is getting there little by little. We go take a look at the gold contract. That's put well here. Let's do the notes and bonds first, because the notes and bonds. You have the 10-year. Let's back into 3.8 again. You're pulling back with 827,000 contracts. We went up yesterday with just about the same thing. Uh, gold contract. The gold contract's actually pulling back with lighter shares than contracts rather than we did yesterday. Uh, yesterday, uh, you ended up, you did about 150 
thousand, I believe. Let's look at this. No, it's probably the same thing. No, it's, let's see. Yeah, it was 128, and you're pulling back at 121. That's consolidating. And then King Dollar. King Dollar's getting a bounce out here. Let's go to uh, Tom in Pittsburgh. Tom, what's going on? Happy New Year, man. Hey, Happy New Year to you. I uh, hope you had a great Christmas. We did. It was awesome. It was, uh, it was great, and I expect 2024 is going to be a good year. Yeah. Well, I got a couple of questions for you. I'm looking at some tax loss selling, and I don't know if it's worth it at this point, but uh, I got a loss in uh, EXK and also SSRM, two silver stocks. Is, do you think they're worth holding or at e this point? So EXK... Yeah, there's not much there on EXK. What's the other one? Uh, SSRM. SSRM. Yeah, Silverado. Okay. Hold it, SSRM. I see, they just call it SSR Mining now, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the low here is 10, the high is 17. Yeah, so yeah, so when you okay, so let's let's walk through what you're specifically saying. You're saying that you get tax loss selling. Now, do you have gains that you're gonna yeah. that, that you already closed out? You have gains, and uh, I was looking at. I have a number of uh, gold and silver stocks, but. These two stocks I have uh, losses in. I'm just debating, you know. But my, 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 my point is, if you haven't closed them out, you don't have gains yet on, on the tax forms. Do you have gains that you have already closed out that you're going to pay taxes on? Yes. Okay. So the way to calculate it is you take the... Uh, listen, folks, I'm not, a, I'm not an accountant, <laughs> number one, but I'm just going to walk you through how this works, Okay. And make sure you talk to your accountant, okay? So what you do there is this. I would take what the gains are, right? I would take what tax bracket you're in so that you understand what you're going to pay, right? And then calculate, you know, what you're going to lose on these, and you'll see whether you come out to net positive. If you come out to net positive, sell both of them, man. Who cares, right? <laughs> I mean, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm also thinking, uh, I don't know, in your opinion, are these things bottoming out? Because I don't want to sell at the bottom. Well, you but can always buy right back. Are they worth holding? But you can buy right back. Well, yeah, after, what, 30 days. So SSRM looks to me like it's going to go down to this $9 level. That's a high volume low that's going after. You can see... The amount of volume that we did, you know, even this month is huge. So it's going to go after yeah. that level. And then okay. the other one, EXK, right? That was the other one, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, EXK is not moving, and all the rest of the gold stocks have moved in a big way, man. So, you know, this, okay. and, you know, this has volume, too. Okay. You know? Um, yeah, just, just stay there for one second. We'll come right back, folks. Okay. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. .com. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 89. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are also flat. We're talking with Tom from Pittsburgh. So on Endeavor Silva, Tom, right? On the 18th okay. of December, what they did is that they launched a uh, 60 million at the money offering. Okay, um, mm -hmm. you know, so they're diluting themselves and they pay the, you know, I, and that stock's not going to go anywhere until. Those, those shares are gone. <laughs> I, I can't read the whole thing right now, but I have it in front of me. Let me just see if this is bigger. Yeah, I know it says, at the money, offering of 60 million. So it's like, you know, and at the money offering is like almost like, well, why don't you just buy it? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. uh, you know, I, I would just do the calculations. So, you know, I mean, because it, it doesn't make any sense to pay, you know, two, five, ten thousand dollars in taxes if you don't have to. When mm -hmm. when you can buy these things back in thirty days or replace yeah. them. Because they're they're both not good looking stocks anyway. When you when you have we've had a run in these gold stocks that, you know, these gold stocks are up thirty, thirty five, forty percent. So when your stock is okay. not up that much, there's a problem. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this works. Okay, man. Well, listen, you have a great one, safe one. Uh, Happy New Year. Okay, you too, Tom. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, we'll, let's see what we got here. Just give me one second, folks. I got to do this here. One second. So, you know, the whole tax loss selling deal, folks, uh, you know, it's important. That's that's the bottom line. Particularly it's important when you know you're going to pay taxes on gains if you're already closed just remember something though that the aspect of the gains they have to be closed trades i mean you know you could be up huge amounts of money and if that trade's not closed you're not going to pay any taxes on it you know so just make sure that you know what that's what you have uh which one did i do my god how many did i do one, two, three, okay. Four. 
Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Oid, folks, as we ever do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can get Tim's newsletter by going over to Oid, O-R-D, hyphen oracle.com. That's Oid, hyphen oracle.com. Tim Oid, what's going on, brother? All right. Uh, actually, we're going to review another, well, the same chart. It's the um, okay. summation index. we kind of been following it for the last couple of weeks. Yes. And so chart number one is that summation index. This is kind of a, a uh, just a quick review. Okay. Uh, this uh, summation index needs to get below minus uh, 700. Yep. And then, then from there, it needs to rally to plus 1,000. And you like to have have that happen within two months or, two, or around two months. It yes. doesn't have to be the exact day. But anyhow, but back on October 27th, we had 813, uh, we had minus 813 on the summation index. And this is yesterday's close. Uh, today's actually going to be a little bit higher, but yesterday's close. And so anyhow, two months added to October 27th comes out December 27th. And so yesterday was two months. And the summation index closed yesterday at uh, 1,033. Oh, man. So, you got to love so, this. Wow. Yeah, so it, it met the parameters. And uh, if you look at the chart, it goes back to 2007, looks like. And I listed all the times. Red lines are when the summation index hit below minus 700. The red lines are the times when the summation reached uh, plus 1,000. Yes. And all of them predicted... Uh, you know, a major run to the market. Uh, matter of fact, it, it appeared at the uh, last, well, it appeared last year, 2022. We had a decent, well, we had a great run this year. We're up, uh, S&Ps were up 24%. Uh, it picked, uh, picked out the low of 2020, the COVID crash, you know, and that thing yes. went, went way up. So now we got another uh, situation. So that predicts 2024, Probably will be an up, you know, a double digit up year, you know? and, and that'll so blow that'll people's minds. Ten percent to ninety nine percent. I know, <laughs> and you know, folks, if you've been following Tim and myself, you know what's amazing about this is that, you know, in this particular one, we went right from the minus eight thirteen, and <laughs> the thing, is, Tim, you know, it's so cool, man. It's crazy that it hit ex exactly at the two months. I mean, I, when you've been explaining to us, we know that it doesn't have to be two months to the day, but it is pretty cool that it was two months to the day, isn't it? It's like, wow. Yeah, it's two months to the day. And actually, you know, the uh, McCall and Oscar will be up again today above zero. That will predict uh, the market or the summation actually index will be higher tomorrow. Okay. Uh, which is not a big deal, but anyway, you know, we reached the parameters. You know, can it go higher? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we reached parameters. So 2024 looks like a pretty good year because this is not a short-term indicator. Yes. It's not saying every month's going to be an up month, but it does say next year or the next 12 months most likely will be up. Right. A pretty high probability of time. So let's, let's flip to chart two. Okay. And where's the, where's the, where we're going to go? Um, well, you know, there's a couple of different things here. Uh, actually, we'll do the bottom window. The, the bottom window okay. is the SPX VIX ratio. Yep. And uh, back in uh, October, from October to I don't know, Jan or October to December 2021, the S&Ps were making higher highs, and this ratio was making lower highs. That's a that's a major divergence, uh, suggesting that the market's going to have a a pullback. Well, it it pulled back really good into uh, the October low. And uh, right now, the S&Ps are hitting higher highs, and this ratio is also hitting higher highs. But I also want to point out, if you draw a line uh, from the uh, uh, October high back in 2021, and you draw that line uh, connecting to the, uh, looks like July of 2022, uh, you can see that line went down on the S&Ps a little bit. But if you look at the ratio, that made a higher high. I see. I know. Yeah, I, I can so see that. A, I can see that. Bigger time frame. That's bullish. So that's, that's what I'm trying to point out. Yes. So even though the SPs right now are probably touching the highs of uh, 2021, and the ratios already broke to newer higher highs. Right. 
So on, on a bigger time frame, that's really bullish. But even on a short-term time frame here, that's labeled in light blue. Uh, the S and P's were, were, you know, making higher highs along with that ratio. So the whole thing's all bullish as far as uh, the the VIX is concerned. And I'm, what I'm thinking, this pattern that is forming here is a head and shoulders bottom, and we just we're at, we broke the neckline right now this month uh, above that 4600. So I'm thinking this whole thing is a head and shoulders bottom, which uh, which projects a uh, head and shoulders bottom projects a, a, a minimum major target to around 5700. Yeah, just stay is, right, just stay right there, Tim. We get a quick break, and Tim and I are going to be right back, folks. We have the Dow up 99, Nasdaq's up four, S&P's are up one. Tim and I come right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Oy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us. And, uh, you know, Tim is showing us this head and shoulders uh, that he's looking at. And as Tim has told us many times, you know, you have to bust that with uh, a sign of strength. And, you know, Tim, I just did these numbers, man. I guess there's no doubt in December alone, we went up 240 S&P points, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's, I'm thinking so. It's, it's a logical break, and 
you know, time will tell. But, you know, the VIX would show up bearish here, and it's not doing that on the bigger time frames anyhow. So I'm thinking this is a legitimate break, and and maybe we rally up, come back to the neckline at some point, and uh, we'll have to wait and see from there. But okay. Normally, when we break the neckline, that becomes support. So, yes. So uh, the worst scenario, I guess, in the next 12 months is 4,600. So uh, we'll see. But we can, we can take a look at the short term now. So the okay. bear trend, in my opinion, according to some H index, according to this uh, head and shoulders bottom, you know, the trend's up next year. But on a short-term basis, I got some minor divergences going on. So it's, if you want to, we can go to chart three. Awesome, I'm there. Yep. All right, chart three. Uh, the middle window is the TLT to VVIX ratio. Yes. So uh, t uh, TLT is the bonds, and the VVIX is the VIX of the VIX. The only reason why I'm using that, uh, it, it responds faster than the VIX. Okay. So actually, the VVX goes up before the VIX goes up. Okay. Uh, so anyhow, it, it puts a little octane into the indicator a little bit, so you get a little bit, bit faster responses. But normally, as, as a, uh, I kind of listed there in pink, the times where the SPs, which is the bottom window, that's the SPY in the bottom window, is going up, and that ratio is making, as the SP is making higher highs, that ratio is making lower highs. Yeah, that went and, down uh, quite a bit, huh? I see that. Yeah. Yeah, so right now, you know, it's, uh, you know, the SP's been going up for, you know, good, you know, I got long here a couple of weeks ago or something like that, and I kind of sold it because I've seen this is one ratio that's that's showing a bearish sign, right. nothing real huge, but. Um, yeah, you, you, sold, um, you sold at the close yesterday, so let me ask you this. I know that in July, I mean, that was the big deal in July. This thing came down pretty quick, huh, didn't it? Interesting, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it came back, you know. Uh, uh, so, anyway, I, I sold yesterday. I'm not really hugely bearish here. Right. But I, I'm thinking this is probably a trade, and we'll go through the next couple of charts. I think that may what develop. We'll have to wait and see. But, okay. yeah, that's given a divergence. Uh, the TLT, the VVX ratio is given divergence. And the next one, uh, this is on chart four okay uh uh this is the um uh, um uh, just the vix and it's kind of the same thing if you look back in uh the high of july you know the market's going up and the vix was making higher lows uh and actually had a bullish scenario uh, uh back in uh was it i can't read uh, december early december uh, it started going up, and it, actually the VIX made lower lows. But if you notice over the last several days here, matter of fact, even look today, if you got a up uh, chart, you know, the SPs right now are up. Uh, yeah, they're still up just a minor a bit, but the VIX is also up today. Right. Uh, just just on today. But if you look at the the far right, uh, the, the current uh, pink area, I guess, which is a little bit brighter pink than the other areas, if you notice, uh, the VIX is making higher, uh, yeah, higher lows as the S&P is making higher highs, and uh, that's that's also a kind of a divergence. So we've got two different things going on in here. Yeah, because uh, like even four days ago, the VIX really popped, and then it came back. And as you said, I mean, because four days ago, what happened, folks, is that you had two separate days that you know we popped up to that fourteen forty nine. And now you're back to 12.53, but you're still up 10 ticks. No, I get what you're saying. Okay, cool. Okay, yep. Yeah, so so I have it. So anyhow, so I'm thinking at least you got some very signs. It's, on top, you know, you know, at bottoms, you, you get a blowout, you know, and yes. everybody runs to the, the door. So bottoms, you can get closer to a bottom than you can usually at a top. You know, if you hit a top at the exact day, you know, in my opinion, you're just lucky. Right. But anyhow. You got some signs here, so I'm thinking. Now you move to chart five. Okay. And uh, well, I, I circled uh, two big volume days. Yes. On, on the on the volume chart there, and a lot of times those big volume days are tested at some point, and you got two basically in the same vicinity. Um, so I'm thinking this is a rising wedge going on here, and uh, you may see a pop down to test those big volume days, and that's all. Yeah, I'm not looking for a big decline because right. we got, you know, if you, on the monthly chart, you know, your neckline's at 4,600 neckline. 
So that's the worst case scenario. I think is forty six hundred on the S and P's, and but I think you may pull back there maybe in January, first part of January. Right, and if and, you're looking uh, at the spy right now, folks, where Tim is pointing out, we're at four seventy seven oh seven. Well, the number he's looking at with that big volume day is is four. It goes from four seventy to four sixty seven. Actually, yeah, okay. Yeah, four. Yeah, so yeah, around yeah, the four six, yeah, eight, whatever, somewhere yes. in that vicinity, right. and that's just you know the old technical analysis rising oh, wedge yeah. pattern. You hit yep. new highs, volumes dropping off, right? And uh, it, you, you see a re reaction, you know, and this is probably would help to bump up the trend too. You know, you get these panic down days because normally when these rising wedges do take effect, you know, you're talking extremely fast declines. Yes. Uh, you know, right. And so that may pop the trend up. Maybe we get lucky and get a, a two or three day, a day on the trend, which will be bullish. And uh, that will line up for another trade to the upside. We'll have to wait and see. But if you look at the bottom window there on this chart, too, you can actually really see how the VIX is going here. The S&Ps are making higher highs. You can see the, the VIX is making higher uh, lows. Uh, you know, that's very yes. divergent. Also, right. you can see, even though today's up a little bit, not a lot, you can see the VIX is actually higher than yesterday's close. Yeah, and you know so, what's interesting, too, Tim? On your five-day arms, you're going to have that 3.69 fall off today. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So we need, you know, we need some kind of energy to uh, going forward here so you get these little declines, so you get that, you know, five-day 10 trade back right. up to where they need to be. Right. So nothing real bearish, but... Uh, yeah, that's, I think it's just a trade, you know, as things are kind of extended and volume's light. So I got a couple of divergences. So am I going to play a short side? Probably not. But, no, because I, no, I get that. You're threading the needle, man. I get it. It's pretty cool. I know. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you get, you get, yeah, you start threading the needle, and you know, I've, I've done that too many times. You yeah. get left behind. But I do think some sort of a pullback it may happen here. Right. Probably right. within the next Which would totally so, make sense, uh, man, because, because of these this run has been extraordinary. There's no doubt. And you know what we have, folks, okay? You know, we had just got a call prior to you coming on, Tim, and, you know, this uh, gentleman was talking about, you know, tax selling, and, you know, because he's made some money in the gold market, and he has a couple gold stocks that are no good. And, and you know, what does happen, folks? I mean, you know, the. The Nasdaq's up 55% this year, <laughs> so I'm sure yeah. there's, you know, there's folks that, you know, uh, are going to take some of that money. So, you know, the real bottom line is that are they taking it this year or is it a January 3rd phenomenon, which we have seen many times, okay? Stay right there. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 105, Nasdaq's up 11, S&P's are up 3. Uh, don't forget, you can get Tim's newsletter by going to ord, O-R-D, hyphen oracle.com. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Oy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow up 104, Nasdaq's up 11, S&Ps are up uh, 250, that's 2.50. And we are kicking into the new year right now. We're going over some... Uh, Charts with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. Okay, cool, Tim. I'm ready. Um, all right, so chart five, anyhow, this, like I said, is probably a, could be a rising wedge and nothing real significant to the downside, but probably go back to, I think it was a December 20th low. And, um, and, and that's it. And from there, you know, the bigger trend's up. So a little chop probably next week. So, uh, chart number five. Six. Yeah, yeah. I just want to just want one thing sure. that you had said, Tim. I just sure. want to go over this for the listeners once again. So it's important if you if you caught what Tim said, folks. Okay, when you have a rising wedge, right? And he's looking for the the bar, the uh, December with well, December what? I'm sorry, Tim. December. De the December twentieth, I think it was. Okay, cool. December twentieth low. That's that big. Black uh, I got it. Yeah. Because what does yeah. happen on a rising wedge, folks? As Tim said when he was going through this is that that when you get a pullback it's not only fast and furious man <laughs> so you might think the end of the world is coming in and there's no such thing and, and anyway it's, i i just wanted right. to bring that up again because when you mentioned it you know we've traded a few of those over our years tim and it's pretty cool <laughs> yeah and, and so normally when they get down what we're going to hope for is that trend yes. on a daily basis jumps up and that kind of puts fuel back into the five and ten day panic you know trends exactly and, and so you know if you, that if that ten day trend gets down to like you know point nine point eight a lot of times those come near highs right so you you always want to feed that trend to hopefully stay up around one point two or higher and if it does then you got fuel to push that market higher because the fuel the panic is a fuel to push more. You know, you know. Joe Granville always said, you know, the market climbs a wall of worry. Oh yeah. And 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 that was back in the eighties when he said that. He's I, I doubt anybody remembers him anymore. But we do though. I mean, Karen. Yeah, listen, we, we do. Yeah. I had him yeah. on a lot, man. He was awesome, man. I I did. And if you heard him, folks, okay, you'd always say that. Yeah, you get the generals and then the what the. the the generals would leave first. Do the generals leave first or the, uh, the, the, the troops? No, the, the, the generals, yeah, the generals take off from the bottom and you yeah. the, the troops or whatever right, right. follow right. later. So, but, yeah, right. he had a lot of good points. You know, when he said the wall of worry, he didn't really understand, I don't think, you know, the panic aspect of it. He didn't oh, no, know how to that, gauge that's that. That's for sure. No, yeah. I yeah know. And so I took that. I always thought about that. And I'm thinking, well, how are you going to find panic in the market? So that's how I got to the trend. Yes. Because if you, if you break down the trend, you know, panic forms when all the stocks are down and all the volume are on the down stocks. Well, that's panic. Well, the trend helps to define what that looks like. And that's usually what happens when the trend gets up around two, you know, two and a half, three or even sure. higher. Yeah. So that's so I put a, put a definition to that wall of worry thing. It's a beautiful so, thing. But, I like it. Yeah, it, yeah, it works pretty good. So oh, it you works know, you great. Panic, Listen, man, you've been sign. showing these charts. So. That that 
I, well, especially the, just the last panic, man. The last one we got that three point something. That was a one day wonder, man. That was it, right? I mean, it's not yeah, like we, that was it. Yeah, right. Yeah, actually, uh, that was on uh, December twentieth. Yeah. That's that big candle down there. Okay, perfect. I got it. Okay, cool. I got it. Yep. So, uh, and also, there's another indicator too. There's a there's a two day trend. If you get a two day trend that adds up to four. Uh, so you can have one day at two point five, another day at one point five. Yep. You buy that. You buy that trend. You you buy that close because they're not going to let you in the next day. Okay, and folks. So remember, did, this yeah, program's not, archived. So all these little tidbits that Tim's giving us. Okay, <laughs> write them down, man. Write them down. And the program. Don't write yeah. them down if you're driving right now and you're listening on your radio. <laughs> but write them down. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that two day trend. We're getting Tim Owen secrets. <laughs> what, what, yeah, it was, it was actually what was three point nine three. Okay, so you know not exactly four, but it's close enough. Yeah, so, but but if you bought it on the close, you know you had a what a one two three four five day rally here. So right, uh, All right. But anyhow, that's that's just a short term trade. Doesn't last forever. But if you get a two day trend that adds up four, buy it on the market or buy market on the close. Nice, because uh, there, there's usually no tests or anything. It just gaps up and goes, just keeps going. Um, we, we can flip to chart six now, or we have more questions on part I'm, chart No, five. I'm ready. We're at six. Okay, cool. All right. This is just momentum indicator. Measures the uh, up volume and down volume. The, uh, the, what I found worked the best is uh, up down volume to really get the trend in the market. And that's the bottom window on this chart. And it's a 50-day average of uh, of G, the components in GDX and up down volume percent. Yes. And so when it's basically above zero, the market's in an uptrend. When it's below zero, the market's in a downtrend. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So right and when I did this chart today, it was like plus four and change, which is kind of like the midpoint of where it usually goes, even though the market's off today a couple of percent. Okay. Uh, if it stays above zero, normally that's a good sign. The uh, the rally, in general, uh, probably would continue. So it's just a momentum indicator on up down volume, and that's that's all it is. Okay. It's, it's, uh, uh, I can, there's some other stuff on the chart, but what's important is the momentum. So let's flip to uh, chart seven. Okay. And uh, this is a uh, the charts that you want to. This is a, this takes a bigger chunk out of the market. And uh, the bottom window is the cumulative advanced decline, and the next window up is the cumulative up-down volume on the weekly time frame. So uh, all, the, all the blue time frames is when the, that, those indicators closed above the mid-Bollinger band, and the red indicators or the red lines are uh, cases when the, the cumulative up-down volume advanced decline indicators closed below their mid-Bollinger band. And it got a little whippy here back in October, November. We went for a buy, went through a sell. Yeah. And we've been on a buy for about, oh, mid-November. And both indicators are still well above the mid-Bollinger band. Uh, this is today's reading. Okay. So this is a weekly time frame. So it, it takes out uh, it, it takes out all the, you know, the whipsaws, I guess. Some of the noise, yeah. What trying to do is yeah. look at the bigger trend. And so this chart helps to do that. So this chart can give uh, signals that could last a month or two, sometimes even three. Okay. And sometimes you get you get whippy, but in general, it's meant to uh, trigger a multi-month rally. Uh, most of the times it does that. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. But as long as it's above both those indicators are above mid Bollinger Band, you're usually got uh, energy to the upside that and carry the market higher. So whatever's going on right now on the bigger time frames is probably still up. We're, we're not seeing any really major diverses. Both of the up-down volume advanced client indicators are above the mid-Bollinger band. So uh, on an intermediate term basis, this still looks bullish so far. And so how long does it remain bullish? Until they close below the mid-Bollinger band. And so when's that? I don't know. But it's a momentum indicator. But this is a weekly uh, Which is frame. sweet. I yeah. see we're running out of time again. No, that's all right. Um, we get, we, Tim and I, we got one more chart. We're going to do it as soon as we come back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 78, Nasdaq's up 8, S&P's a flat. And don't forget, folks, you can get Tim's newsletter by going over to ord, o -R -D, hyphen oracle.com. Tim and I come right back, folks.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us as we're kicking into 2024, folks. Pretty amazing. Okay, Tim, uh, you want to go to that last chart? Well, okay. You no, know, we can real, stay on this one. Repeat we this just... chart, uh, uh, chart number seven. This is a quick repeat, but anyhow, that's a weekly chart of cumulative advanced decline. Okay. And the both of them are right now are above the mid Bollinger Band, which is bullish. So that projects, uh, you know, maybe you got a month, maybe three months of rally. You know, you're not for sure, but anyhow, the weekly charts for the momentum. Up, down, volume, advanced client indicators are bullish. So let's flip to chart number eight. Okay. And okay, now this is the same chart. Uh, they're both, uh, but it's on the monthly time frame. And this is a chart that you want to see close above the mid Bollinger band. I get it. I see. Gets the the yearly. I mean, most of these signals last a year. Uh, they can last actually uh, four years because last time this chart gave a signal was back in January, it looks like about January 2021, three years ago. So this is the chart that we need above that mid Bollinger band. That's the bottom yeah, line. Yeah. yeah. Right. It, both those indicators need to give a, above that mid Bollinger band. And uh, and normally they're not whippy. You know, once they get above them, normally okay. you start to trend. So what this projects, if they both do, and the weekly says you got a good chance if the market 
can rally over you know next month, maybe two. Yes, if that can happen, which is logical on the weekly time frame on the up down volume advanced client indicators, most likely that will push the monthlies above the mid Bollinger Band. Right. If that's the case. Then that would project at least 2024 is going to be an up here, and could be even 2025. So because right now, I uh, mean, we're right underneath it in both of them, right? I can see that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, the second one up, uh, the, mid, the mid chart there's right smack at it. Any, yes. Any minor strength would most likely push that above it. But the bottom window, which is the up down volume, you're you're, you're not a long ways from it. You know, a decent rally over the next month may, may push it, and that could open the door for, uh, you know, a year, maybe two years of rally. Yeah, I so love it. Well, maybe. listen, man, we appreciate all the great education in 2023. We look for more in 2024. Happy New Year, Tim. Thank you. Stay right there. Well, I'll do the update, folks. We'll be right back.